today on an all-new Dr. Phil. I love you. I love you, too. A long-distance romance. She wants to go and meet this guy, Andres, in Argentina. Her family believes he's a predator. You're talking about taking my daughter to a country that is known for human trafficking. He's the bait. Right. It doesn't matter what they say. I'm still going to go. Can she trust him with her life? They think you're trying to lure her down there. But they have no evidence. Let's do it. Is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by. We'll count you down. I try to be an emotional compass and point you in the right direction. Five, four. I am not giving up on you. says she is madly in love with Andres, a boy she met online. She is ready to give up her studies as a pharmaceutical major at Indiana University and fly to Argentina to start a new life in a foreign country. But Maddie's mother, Tanya, and her father, Troy, say they are terrified their daughter is being groomed by this handsome stranger to be sold as a sex slave. Her family has gone so far as to destroy not one, but two passports just to keep her in the country. But Maddie says her parents are being ridiculous, and she wants me to convince them that her new love is real. She says she is headed to Argentina to be with the love of her life, and there is nothing they can do to stop her. Take a look. My 18-year-old daughter, Maddie, recently met a boy online while playing video games. And now she thinks this guy loves her. I love you. I love you, too. And wants to devote his life to her. You're wearing lipstick. Yeah. Nice. Thanks. She wants to go and meet this guy, Andres, and live with him in Argentina, which I think is jeopardizing her life. She could be trapped into human trafficking or sex trafficking. I'm just so scared for her. I mean, what if she dies because she goes there? I think that Andres is just using the computer to lure girls down to Argentina. Argentina has a high rate of human trafficking. I told Maddie that I will do anything and everything to stop you. Maddie doesn't really understand the world. Maddie has always been introverted. Maddie is socially awkward. Maddie's social life is pretty much online. She's so smart, yet she can act so stupid, not wanting to check this out. I believe that Andres is not the person he claims to be. When I Googled Andres and his family, I did not find anything at all. Andres sent Maddie copies of his work ID, his dad's work ID, and his mother's credentials. I have a friend that ran the IDs and they came up fake. I'm really excited about meeting you for the first time. Supposedly, if Maddie goes to Argentina, Andres' parents would support her. Andres' parents are supposedly biochemists. I'm afraid that the only thing I'll ever see after she goes to Argentina is a picture of her dead body when she comes back. When Tanya is so desperate to keep Maddie from leaving, she sent her to live with her ex-husband, Troy. Now, Troy says he and Tanya may have never agreed about anything during their marriage, but they are both in complete agreement that they will never see Maddie again if she goes to Argentina. If Madeline goes to Argentina, I believe she could end up being sold to a brothel. I believe she'll be raped by 10 guys. She will be forced to have sex all day against her will. She's worth a whole lot more money as a virgin as opposed to someone who is not. This guy she's communicating with online, I believe he's like the pickup man. He's young, he's a fairly good looking guy. That was great. They have sent her money. Everything that they send her, she will pay back a hundredfold in a brothel. She will pay for being in that brothel. Argentina is a hotbed for human trafficking. I gotta go, though. Aww. <laughs> I'm pissed off at the guy in Argentina. I'd like to break my foot off. I offered the, the fella that she's talking with online 
a place to stay. And so we could meet him to see if he's legit. He said no because we were going to kill him. It's been one excuse after another. I did tell her you're not going to Argentina. I have taken her telephone. I wanted to take her tablet. She needs to find her love somewhere else, not online. She's buying it hook, line, and sinker, and he's reeling her in, you know? She goes to Argentina, and she'll be in trouble that none of us can get her out of. I'm pissed off at my daughter. I think she needs to grow a brain. Okay, so you guys are very concerned, I think, as any parent would be, yes. if their daughter was getting ready to fly halfway around the world to meet with somebody she's never met in the flesh. She's never been in the presence of him, correct? No. Correct. And you think he's part of a human trafficking ring? I think he's the one that's being paid to actually attract the girls. Well, we all saw the movie Taken. Right. Where there was a good-looking guy at the airport. Right. And he kind of hooks him in and then... There they go. They're, they're gone. You think that's what's going on right. here? Right. He's the bait? Right. And why do you think that? Just because he, um, he doesn't have a lot of friends online on his Facebook. Uh -huh. He doesn't... Um, a lot of things have... His story has changed a lot about... I mean, he's, he lives in an apartment without his parents. Maddie has said that his parents come, like, two times a week, says he's going to go to college, but he hasn't gone to college. You know, I don't know what this guy is, and that is what my biggest concern is. And, you know, Well, you're offering like, to put your foot in it. Well, you know, you're talking about taking my of daughter course. to a, a country that is known for human trafficking, and the, places that, the place that she's flying into is considered the hub. I understand that Andres has told her that after she flew in there, she would have to take a 12-hour bus ride That's right. correct. to get where he is. Have you talked to the parents? No. Have you asked I to talk to them? I don't speak Spanish, and they only speak Spanish. What's his attitude towards you? He's afraid of you guys, right? Right. He's been invited to our home. You know, I, I literally invited him to our home. It's one, one reason after another why he cannot come to the U.S., uh, excuse after excuse? Yes. Uh, you say that Andres is doing this, quote, by the book. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you mean by that? Well, I he's mean, following uh, the pattern? Uh, uh, yeah, he's following the pattern almost down to the T. And, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not an expert on this, but I have spoken with people who are experts. You know, it's one red flag after another. If you've got 15 red flags out of 20 questions, you know, that's a pretty sticky situation. It, what are the biggest red flags you've seen? You, you say his parents say they're biochemist? Yeah. And you read that as... I'm like, how many people have both of their parents as biochemists and have money to throw around? You know, they're mm -hmm. always buying him things and letting him send her money and wanting to pay for her flight to Argentina. Because that's like too good to be true, right? Right. So you think that spells drug dealer or... Right. Trafficking or something. Something's going on. Okay. The, the sending her money, that's a big red flag. Mm -hmm. The paying for her tickets are big red flags. The bus You ride. know, the bus ride. And, you know, she ends up missing and there, there likely will be no one that ever sees her again that she knows. You think he's groomed her? Yes. Told her what she wanted to hear? Well, she kind of spilled her guts to him online, you know. Everything, her biggest worries, her biggest fears, she's told him her life story. So he has all the knowledge he needs to know. You've seen these catfish shows that we do. Right. And you're thinking this is that kind of a thing where right. he represents some fantasy to her, sucks her in. And, okay, well, we need to figure it out. Coming up, Maddie's family says they're certain Maddie will be killed or sold as a sex slave if she travels to Argentina to meet with a guy that she doesn't know. But Maddie says, look, she's in love with her online boyfriend and knows for certain that nothing will happen to her because she trusts him with her life. Maddie's gonna join us next. I'm gonna ask her how she knows all of this. We'll be right back. being catfished. I'm not being scammed. I want my family to back off. It doesn't really matter what they say. I'm still going to go. 
And later, you think this guy is a fake? I do. I think he wants to make money off of her. Well, they checked him out with the FBI, right? Seems suspicious to me. Tomorrow on an all-new Dr. Phil. Danny says his mother-in-law is ruining his marriage. She is so manipulative. I hate you. I hate you for taking Nicole, manipulating her into not loving me the way she did. I don't try to take her away from you. Yes, you do. I refuse to cut my mother out of my life to save my marriage. You're saying i got to make a choice between my husband and my mother? You already made that choice when you said I do. That's tomorrow. My daughter Maddie is addicted to the internet. Madeline is very socially uncomfortable. She can't shoot from the hip. She can't talk on the phone. She has a real problem communicating with people face to face. I I'm sorry, but I don't get falling in love with someone you've never even been in the same room with. I believe this online obsession with Andres is tearing our family apart. Well, Tanya and Troy are desperate to keep their 18-year-old daughter, Maddie, from going to Argentina to meet a young man whom she's never even met in person. And they believe that he is part of a sex trafficking ring, that he's the bait, he's the front man that gets the young girls there, and then they're swept up into this ring. Maddie says she has done everything to convince her parents that Andres really is her boyfriend. And she thinks her parents are being completely unreasonable. I spend a lot of time on the internet. I don't have a ton of friends. I met Andres online 14 months ago. Hey. Hey. I thought he was cute. He was really nice and it was fun. I liked him, of course, but I didn't want to tell him that I was too shy. The plan right now is to go and meet him in Argentina and if things work out to stay there. My family doesn't believe that Andres is who he says he is. They think that I'm gonna go there and get human trafficked. It's ridiculous because he's offered to come here and I suggested going there because I figured it was a better option. They think this situation is pretty ridiculous. My family is really overreacting and it's causing a lot of chaos. Andres has never asked me for money. He's actually given me money multiple times. I ended up buying him video games because I was like, I want to play this with you. I'm not being catfished. I'm not being scammed. I want my family to back off and let me live because it's my life, not theirs. It should be our decision. They shouldn't be deciding this for me. It doesn't really matter what they say. I'm still going to go. OK, Maddie, good to meet you. Um, you disagree with them because you feel like you really know Andres, right? Yeah. But when did you first connect? In August of last year. Uh, so you've known him through the internet over a year. Long. Yeah. Uh huh. What do you like about him? He's really nice. I like his personality a lot. Yeah. We play video games together and we talk all the time. Why hasn't he come to see you? He can't get a visa to come. Well, sure he can. Um, it takes a while, but you can do it. The U.S. wouldn't let him come because he doesn't have a reason that he would go back other than his family. Well, he doesn't know that. He doesn't know they wouldn't let him come because he hasn't tried. He hasn't tried yet. Yeah. How come you haven't visited him yet? Because I've been trying to get my passport, but I can't get it. It yeah. never came. What happened to it? The first time, I'm pretty sure my mom held the mail and took it. And the second time, um, I had it delivered to my brother's apartment and it just didn't show up. Do this for me. Argue their point of view for me and tell me why she wouldn't want her 18-year-old daughter going halfway around the world to meet up with a guy in a foreign country that she's never met before. I would just be really worried. Because? Uh, because. Come on, give me a, she, give me a legitimate answer. He hasn't here. spoken with his parents or really met them. And tell me what could go wrong. I could probably get stuck there. But you think he's real and you think his parents are real? Yeah. Because you say Andreas sent her um, his ID 
he, yeah. he sent, sent you his ID and, and his family's IDs, copies of them? He sent a picture of his ID and his father's ID yeah. and an ID he had when he was younger. Right. And you've even seen the inside and outside of yeah. where he lives? Mm -hmm. Do you think you're up to making this kind of a trip? Yeah. Yeah. You traveled out here. Yeah. Right. When you got to the airport, did you know how to get an electronic ticket? I wasn't sure at first because I've never been to an airport. You, have you ever flown? <laughs> you ne you've never flown anywhere? Not until here. This is the first time you've ever been on an airport? Yeah. You didn't know how to go through security? No, I didn't know. When you got here to the hotel and they gave you different things like checking in and vouchers and stuff. You didn't know how to do that. I wasn't really sure how to do Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go that because I'd never been to a hotel like alone. So you've never been on an airplane, you've never flown anywhere, you didn't know how to get your ticket, you didn't know how to go through security, you've never been to a hotel alone. I know now. But you're good to go to Argentina. I wasn't prepared enough to fly there. But you thought you were. 
I wanted to go. Next, we're going to meet Maddie's grandmother. She recently got into a little online argument with Andres. We'll talk about her concerns next. I do believe that Andres is an online predator. He has sent her $300. I do believe that Andres was luring her with money. I think they're going to take her and they're going to use her for prostitution. I said, this is not a relationship, Maddie. This is just Skyping over the internet. And later, we hired an investigator from, to look into Andreas and his family. Andreas and his parents' IDs, are they real or are they fake? I feel him kick. I can feel his little feet. My daughter thinks she's pregnant, and she's not. She actually thinks her baby's Jesus. I am pregnant! And it is Jesus. Do you believe this baby's the son of God? Yes. The ultrasound was performed on Haley. You say, I'm giving birth. You don't believe that. You are not a lie detector test, and you need to shut it. Before I met him, my ex-husband was a priest. He had an affair with a massage therapist. Who's now his wife? This is the wonderful marriage that I apparently split oh. up, right? She needs to leave the room. Your son killed himself with a shotgun. Peter died under her roof. She doesn't appear to have any recognition of what she's done. Do you believe that she would want your son to be dead? Yes. You sorry son of a bitch! Hey, let me finish. You are finished! My stepdad was a sick pervert. He would have me touch him in the tub. And your grandmother knew this. She was flossing her hair 10 feet away. I never saw it. You know what you did. I did not molest you. You are willing to destroy my life. You have destroyed mine. Maddie has tried two different times to get an, a passport so she could go to Argentina. Unbeknownst to Maddie, I got her first passport in the mail and it was destroyed. And she never knew. Her second passport was mailed to her brother's apartment and he's going to make sure that she doesn't get it. She does not know that we've all conspired against her to keep her away from Andres. So as long as Maddie is with me, I will prevent her from making it to Argentina. Well, Tanya and Troy have made it loud and clear to Maddie they do not want her to go to Argentina to be with her 19-year-old online boyfriend, Andres, whom they claim may be a sex trafficker. Now, Maddie's grandmother, Lois, says Maddie lives her life on the computer and cannot be trusted to meet a stranger halfway around the world. Maddie would rather be on the computer than communicate with her family. When I heard that Maddie was gonna go to Argentina instead of going to college, I just about threw a fit. I do feel like Maddie was throwing her life away because she had a bright future. Argentina is a third world country. A lot of people are poor and there's all kinds of human trafficking going down in there, right in the area where she wants to go. I do believe that Andres is an online predator. He has sent her $300. I do believe that Andres was luring her with money. I think they're going to take her and they're going to use her for prostitution. I believe that Andres is a big scam. I said, this is not a relationship, Maddie. This is just Skyping over the internet. That is not a relationship. You never held that guy's hand. He's never gave you a kiss. Maddie needs to wake up and join the real world. Okay, thank you for being here. Uh, you're here to protect her, right? Yes, I am. Have you been party to this hiding the passports? Oh, yeah, I have. Is this out of character for her to all of a sudden want to go to Argentina? Yes, we just can't believe it, that she would just throw away her future and go down there. And she does, hasn't even seen Andres before. She has never hugged him, give him a kiss, you know, embraced him. You think he has bad manners and is kind of rude too, right? Yes, I believe. Why? Because on the Facebook, when we were making comments back and forth, and they said they were in a relationship, I said, you are not in a relationship. You cannot be in a relationship over the Internet. It felt, I felt like he was threatening me over the Internet. What do you think about that? He wanted to, like, get to know them and have, like, a good relationship <clears throat> with them, but they wouldn't give him a chance because immediately after they discovered that I was with him, 
They wouldn't talk to him. They wouldn't talk to his parents or anyone. Well, that's be only because she was going to just get up and she wanted to sneak away and go to Argentina before we even knew. We found out on her graduation day. Well, you gave her 500 bucks, right? Right. For, as a graduation right. present? To help her with college? To help her with college, not to run off and go to Argentina. What would you do when you found out about Argentina? Hmm. I took it off her account so she couldn't get another passport. You think this guy is a fake? Okay. I really do think he's a fake. I think she's an attractive young girl. And I think he wants her down there for sex trafficking. Well, they checked him out with the FBI, right? I don't know if they, what they actually did, but they, they gave me like a letter. Well, the FBI letter um, says, Dear Miss, we blurred the last name. In reply to your letter of July 30th, information contained in the files of the FBI must be maintained as confidential in accordance with the regulations of the Department of Justice. I can, however, advise you that with regards to the submitted IDs, of blurred Andreas and blurred do not in fact correspond with the records within the Argentina database. I hope this will be of some help to you. She said she mailed them but then she got it in the email and it seemed suspicious to me. Was this legitimate? No. <laughs> <laughs> So y'all stole her passports and faked a letter from the FBI. And you call him dishonest. We're desperate to try to keep her here. Well, would you like to meet him? No. Well, Andreas actually sent a video to me wanting my help. Hello, I'm Andres. I'm 19 year old, as you can see. I'm asking you, Dr. Phil, show to help me to prove to my girlfriend's family that I'm a real person and I'm none of the nasty things they called me. And I would very much thank you if you could help me. You say you don't want to meet him, but when we come back after the break, I do want to meet Andreas. We'll be right back. Tanya and Troy say they have done everything in their power, including destroying Maddie's passport, at least one, taking away her cell phone, and even threatening to break her feet <laughs> to stop her from moving to Argentina to be with her online boyfriend. That was a joke. They weren't really going to break her feet. They think that this is a setup. They think that he is involved in sex trafficking. Now. The parents are supposedly both uh, biochemists. They say it's just not realistic, it's not very likely. Uh, so Tanya and Troy have refused to talk to Andres. This is the first time that both sides are gonna have a chance to talk. So joining us on satellite from Argentina is Andres and his mother, Sylvia. Now we also have Esther Ermita, a certified Spanish interpreter in the audience who will help us with Sylvia, who only speaks Spanish. So, Andres, I'm, um, I'm here uh, with Maddie and her parents uh, and her grandmother, and we've been talking about you, and they, her family does not think you are real, but we're seeing you right now, and you certainly appear to be real, and this is your mother sitting next to you. So tell us a little bit about yourself, if you will. Well, I'm a 19-year-old student. I've studied the English pretty extensively on my own at an institution to prepare for international English exam. I've postponed it, though, to the next year. I'm going to enroll in college uh, in 2017 in system engineering and I have to finish high school in the next few months. Do you understand why Maddie's parents might be nervous about her going halfway around the world to be with someone she's never met in person? Yeah, it's completely understandable, the concern for her daughter to travel so far for someone she never met in real life. They think that you might be involved in some kind of criminal enterprise that you might be involved in sex trafficking or drugs or some other criminal enterprise and that you're trying to lure her down there. 
I've heard a lot of accusations regarding such topics. Sex trafficking, um, they thought to me that I would put her into prostitution. They also told me that I would sell her. They, they called me everything non-human that they could. Uh, but they have no evidence to support any of this. Are you in love with Maddie? Yes, I am in love with Maddie. If I could speak to your mother for just a minute. Uh, Sylvia, how do you feel about these kids getting together? Silvia, ¿cómo se siente usted que estos jóvenes se junten? Nada en particular, no, 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 no sé cómo interpretar la, la pregunta. Nothing no in particular. Ningún sentimiento en particular. Uh, nothing in particular. I don't know how to answer that question. I have no uh, feel, feelings in particular. Um, what does uh, ask Sylvia what? What do you do for a living, Sylvia? ¿A qué se dedica usted, Sylvia? Soy bioquímica. I'm biochemist. Uh, and uh, what does Andrea's father do for a living? ¿A qué se dedica el papá de Andrés? Es bioquímico también, pero eh, más se dedica a la administración. He's a biochemist as de well. Una empresa de salud y de una clínica. But he's more dedicated to the administration of the health clinic and the health office. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break. Coming up, is Andreas who he says he is? We're going to be joined by an investigator in Buenos Aires who's uncovered the cold, hard facts about Andreas and his family after the break. on an all-new Dr. Phil. My mother-in-law is so manipulative. I hate you for taking Nicole. I'm torn between my husband and my mother. You're saying I gotta make a choice? You already made that choice when you said I do. That's tomorrow. Maddie says no one is going to stop her from going to Argentina to be with Andres. She says his family is supportive while hers isn't. Well, we hired an investigator from Argentina to look into Andreas and his family. Eileen Viglianco is joining us via Polycom from Buenos Aires. Uh, Eileen, we ask you uh, to do some checking into this family because Maddie's family uh, is really, really concerned that this young man is not who he says he is that in fact he may be involved in a criminal enterprise, that his parents are not biochemists. Uh, so let's talk about that. Uh, Andreas and his parents' IDs, are they real or are they fake? We were able to confirm that the national IDs provided do match the names and national IDs numbers that appear on them. Uh, so yes, we can say they are real. Okay, so these are the people they say they are? Yes, basically that's what we were able to confirm. All right, and the parents' employment, what do the parents do? Have you been able to confirm that? Yes, they are both biochemists. Okay, and they work at a medical center? Yes, they work at a medical center that provides assistance to a branch of the Argentinian army. Okay, and Andreas' employment, do you find any employment for Andreas? No, we were not able to confirm any employment activity for Andres, and we were also able to check that, as he just mentioned, he hasn't still graduated from high school. Okay. Criminal record check. Uh, what did you find out about Andres and any criminal activity? We were not able to link Andres to any criminal activity, such as human uh, trafficking, women trafficking, or drugs. Okay. And in terms of their residence, uh, do they live where they say they live, and is this a nice part of town, not nice part of town? Uh, what's their living arrangement? Our investigator was able to prove that Andres and his father live at the address they provided. It's, uh, that's the one you see in the picture. They live on the second floor of that apartment in a central, both residential and commercial uh, part of Resistencia. And also we were able to confirm that the mother 
and Andres' sister live at another uh, building also in the city, uh, in the same city. The parents are still legally mar married, but no longer living together. Okay. So basically, you found out that these people are who they say they are, doing what they say they do, and they are not involved in any criminal enterprise, certainly not involved in any kind of human trafficking. You are right. Not that we were able to confirm. I any questions for the investigator? To my knowledge, Maddie's always said that he's already <clears throat> graduated high school and that he had applied to college already and dropped out. So there was well, 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 Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, come on, I mean, you, you got to answer the question right. first. Okay. You, two, you, you two came here and said that they were going to take your daughter down there, sell her into prostitution, and send her body back in a bag. We said and that you was just all found possible. out, and you just found out that this young man is who he says he is. His parents are biochemists working in a medical center. They live in a nice part of town in very nice residences. Everything they have said in the last 13 months, according to this investigator, were, was exactly accurate and true. I think that's great. It sounds to me the only people lying in this deal are you. Well, I'm just glad to know the truth about them. Because you're intercepting her mail and destroying it. You're creating false documents from the FBI. These people that. are telling the truth, and you guys are the ones that are lying. Doesn't mean I disagree with you about whether she should go or not, but let's just call a spade a damn shovel. <laughs> right. Next, Maddie's online boyfriend says Maddie tells him everything, but how well do they really know each other? We asked them some important questions. The answers were very revealing. That's coming up, and I ain't about to take her to the airport and put her on a plane to Argentina. We'll be right back. <laughs> I ask Andres to do something for me. I ask you to do something for me. Um, I've written a book about relationships called Relationship Rescue. I have a, a, a test in there called the Partner Awareness Test. Mm -hmm. That's a test to see how well you really know the partner that you're with, that you have a relationship with. And it asks a lot of things. How do you think you did in answering questions about Andres? I think I did okay. I know I probably got some of them wrong, but I tried. <laughs> yeah. Andres, how do you think you did in answering questions about Maddie? I think I do decent slash very good. <laughs> yeah. There are different categories of this test from like really, really good to really, really not good. Uh, you two scored in the really, really not good category. <laughs> Which means you really don't know each other very well. The kind of questions that are on the test are, um, uh, we asked Maddie this question, I know what accomplishments my partner is most proud of. <laughs> Andrea says, my determination to do things I want. Maddie said, probably getting into a prestigious level of an online video game. We said, I know what my partner's parents would probably say is the thing about my partner that they are most proud of. Andrea said, my English skills. Maddie said, I don't know. <laughs> so we asked Andreas about Maddie. Uh, I can describe the most traumatic event that occurred in my partner's childhood. Andrea said, I don't know. Maddie said, my dad went into a diabetic coma. <laughs> we ask Andreas, my partner has clearly identified for me what he or she wants in life. Andreas says, I don't know. <laughs> Maddie said, uh, get to college, get a nice job, career, travel, learn a few languages, go with the flow after college, I'll make up my mind later. So those are just a few examples. Y'all don't really know very much about each other. We knew some of these answers. We just didn't know what to put on the papers. <laughs> All they do is game. They game constantly. That's not life. Right. You know, how is he going to know how she is when he hasn't even met her in person and been with her? Andres, have you flown around very much on airlines? No, I haven't. 
Maddie has it either. Until she flew here, she had never been on an airplane. And when she got to the airport, she couldn't quite figure out how to get an electronic ticket issued. She didn't really know how to get through security. When she got to the hotel, she had never done that by herself before, so she didn't really know how to check in. And that's in her own country where everybody speaks her language. Don't you think the gentlemanly thing to do would be for you to come see her instead of asking her with very limited life experience to fly halfway around the world to see you? Well, let's start. It is a half, travel half around the world for me too if I went there. Then you also have to accept that I'm just one year older than her, so the knowledge gap is pretty much the same in some areas. If she came here, I would have the support from my parents and guidance overall. If I were to go there, uh, the parents were completely denying any chance of that happening. He threatened to kick my ass in some other world. Uh, well, interesting response. Uh, we're going to take a break. I asked him about a living plan. Wait until you hear that after the break. Coming up on Dr. Phil, visit our website and subscribe to our email newsletter. You'll get weekly updates, life strategies, and exclusive video that you won't find anywhere else. Plus, on drphil.com, you can see sneak previews of upcoming shows. Log on today. I ask you guys some questions that have to do with a life plan. And uh, the answers were, hell, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty much what you said. You, you said, well, we're going to depend on parents. We don't have any income. Uh, I guess we can kind of team up on the chores. And when we disagree, we'll talk about it. Don't have any plans to get married or talk about kids or anything because you're both very young, which I totally get. Mm -hmm. You don't have a plan because he hasn't graduated from high school yet. You don't have a job. He doesn't have a job. You're going to be living in his bedroom in his parents' house. Here's a picture of the bedroom. That's your house. <laughs> Can we agree that if Andres came here to visit, that you would treat him with dignity and respect? Yes. And that you would welcome him here to meet and spend some time with your daughter and granddaughter? Mm -hmm. yes. And that you could assure him and that you could assure his parents that you would treat him here the way you would want your daughter treated there? Yes. Most definitely. You, yeah, you, you could do that? Yes. I, I've already told him <clears throat> this. Well, well, but uh, you were inviting him there under the assumption that he was a known trafficker that was going to murder well, your daughter. I, I was inviting him there because I don't know what he is. Right, you but know, now and, you do. <laughs> now, I, now I've got a better idea. Right. <laughs> now, now you do. And would you support him coming here for a visit before you made yeah. your move. And Andres, I I'm not saying that it's easy, but if we could help facilitate you getting a, a visa to come visit with her and meet her and, and meet her family, uh, would you be open to trying to do that before her coming down there? If I don't have to pay for anything, yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Well, I will buy you a ticket. Yes, I don't mind. It's a little vacation. Well, your enthusiasm and passion is underwhelming. <laughs> and I think, that's, I think that speaks volumes. I want to thank all of my guests today. For more information about today's show, log on to drphil.com. You can also join the conversation today on Facebook and Twitter. We will see you next time.
if Maddie still wanted to go to Argentina, I would feel scared and nervous just like any mother would when their child's traveling. Andres, if we could help you get a visa to come visit with her and meet her, would you be open to trying to do that before her coming down there? If Andres came to America, he would be treated with respect. I wouldn't put my foot unless he had it coming. If Andres had come here and spent time with our family, I would welcome him and treat him as if, you know, he was part of our family. If I don't have to pay for anything, yeah, I don't mind. I am so confused. I really don't know what to think anymore because he seems like he's a real lazy boy and he doesn't have any ambition. What kind of future would they have? Just living in a house with his parents and, and rather have her find somebody here and go to school here. I know Andres is who he says he is. Dr. Phil recommended that he comes here first before anything else happens. I'm excited to actually touch him and hug him for the first time. If things go well between me and Andres here, I plan on going to Argentina. I got the answers that I came for today. Thank you, Dr. Phil.